Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to take you guys into the plugin section inside Pro Tools. Uh, please keep in mind that I do have Waves plugins, so some of these plugins that I do open uh, will need to be purchased. Um, there's Waves bundles you can buy, which, uh, which uh, will have certain bundles in them. But for right now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you guys just what kind of plugins I'm dealing with, show you guys a little bit about them, give you guys a little overview on them, and tell you guys uh, what kind of options they have to offer. So today we're going to go into plugin, we're going to go to dynamics, we're going to go down to L3 Ultra Maximizer. In the previous video I showed you guys the multi maximizer, but basically guys this works the exact same, this doesn't look too crazy, um, but it's actually a very very powerful plugin. So uh, what we what we use out of ceiling for is distortion, so I usually keep it on like uh, minus 0 0.1 just so I don't have a lot of uh, distortion. You can load presets. Uh, we don't need to do that. I just throw this on the master track and I play with the threshold till I feel like the song really has depth. I also quantize it the same at the same uh, bits as I started the uh, my session with. Uh, I shape uh, shaping and uh, dither don't don't really play around with those, uh, but you can play around with shaping. You can make a moderate, ultra, or normal. Uh, it doesn't really make too too crazy of a difference, but playing with the threshold will. Uh, profiles. Uh, you can click on profiles. You can. You can suggest what kind of feel you want, cozy and warm, loud and proud, extreme analog. There's tons of stuff you can pick from, but I suggest you guys try it out, uh, see what uh, see what works best for you guys. I just want to open it up, show you guys a little overview on it. This is the L3 Ultra Maximizer. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe.